hit to our economy as a result of his job-killing carbon tax, data that he had up until then been hiding. He's been going around claiming that Canadians are better off because they pay this tax. Did the calculations that went into his 8 out of 10 talking points include this $30 billion a year cost to the Canadian economy and to Canadian families? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Parliamentary Budget Officer has confirmed that 8 out of 10 Canadians in jurisdictions that have the federal carbon price in them get more money back from the Canada carbon rebate than they pay with this price on pollution. That is fact. Now, the Conservative leader has been using erroneous figures that the Parliamentary Budget Officer has said he made a mistake on to uh, continue uh, to attack his, uh, his, to attack our plan on fighting climate change and putting more money back in people's pockets. Eight out of ten Canadians are better off, Mr. Speaker. Here, here. Right. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Does that include the $30 billion a year economic cost when distributed among those eight out of ten families? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, once again... The Conservatives are basing their attacks on climate action and affordability on erroneous calculations that the Parliamentary Budget Officer has admitted that he made. The fact uh, that the Parliamentary Budget Officer uh, also calculated without making any mistakes that 8 out of 10 Canadians are better off with the Canada carbon rebate and the price on pollution means that we are not only fighting climate change and bringing down emissions, we're also putting more money back in the pockets of Canadians who need support here, here, right now. Here. Money that exactly. the Conservative Party wants to take away. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. I'm not using parliamentary budget officer numbers. I'm using numbers that this Liberal government has now published. This government has admitted that their carbon tax we'll hit Canadians with $30 billion in annual losses to wages and higher prices. That is their data. They published it. So once again, a very specific question. When he claims that 8 out of 10 are better off, does that include the $30 billion of costs that he now admits that the government will impose on the economy? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, I don't know how much clearer I can be, but I'll try. Based on everything this government knows, all the studies we've made, all the studies that the Parliamentary Budget Officer has made, we can affirm very clearly, and it's backed up by independent economists, that 8 out of 10 families in jurisdictions across the country where the federal price on pollution applies do better off with more money in their pockets than the price on pollution costs them with the Canada carbon rebate. It's quite And it, the Conservatives are wrong on this. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. He can't say yes. Because he knows that when you take the $30 billion a year and divide it by the 17 million Canadian families, then you come up with almost $2,000 per Canadian family, based on numbers published by his 